where do you move the Black King? Here, a Grandmaster totally messed up. And that I generally know how the pieces move, but with some notable exceptions. And decided to play King B5. If you're thinking about Queen here check, after I play King here and you have no more checks. Instead, what the Grandmaster missed is Pawn to C4 check. If you play King here, Queen A8 is checkmate. But the one I really like is if you take en passant. Now we're not greedy, so we don't capture back. We checkmate in two moves instead. Queen C4 check, King here only move, and Queen A4 checkmate. Good night. But wait, what was the safest King move here to avoid losing with Black? You're a genius if you find this. I would have loved to see your face when you discover the move. It's white to play, their rook is attacked, and if they exchange it, it's probably winning, but it won't be easy. Why a genius? Because the move here for white is out of this world. Rook a8, black is forced to take. Otherwise, white plays rook check and wins the rook. But wait, what happens after black accepts the sacrifice? Rook check, king here, another crazy move by white. Pawn to a6, the reason is that if you play king d7 straight away trying to checkmate black would have the escape a6 move and their king can now hide on the a7 square if pawn takes king d7 and who's gonna stop rook b1 checkmate you know who absolutely nobody and the beautiful variation comes after pawn here instead of taking the pawn we play king d7 and after black queens how do you smash him on the next move can you believe white is winning here? Looks like two pieces up is not enough to win a chess game anymore. Here, the problem is the rooks are stuck on the corner and super passive. Having pawns there would feel the same way for black. I know, I know the rules. We can't put pawns on the 8th rank. White pushes the pawn, threatening checkmate on the next move. Black's only move is to sacrifice this rook. King takes, and now desperado mode. One more sacrifice, pawn check. King takes, because why not? Now double check, king g4. And now yes, I trapped you. Because castling was still allowed. White plays rook b7, threatening to win after this move. Knight check, king here, knight d5, king g5. Black is in total Tsukzvon. Knight here, king g4. Why king here and not rook here? Because knight check, king h6 and knight c7 is only a draw. So he went knight d5, king g3 and whatever black plays now, we play rook here and promote to a queen. You won't believe this. Black is two pawns up in this queen end game, but it's white to play. And they have a move that could crush black position. I let you think few seconds. You already know the queen is the strongest piece on the board. Therefore, a lot more checkmates happen in queen end games. Now it's time for the reveal. The killer move is pawn to c4. And you know what? Any way you capture this pawn leads to a checkmate in one move. King takes, queen c3 checkmate. If you play queen takes pawn, queen d6 is checkmate. How about pawn takes pawn? Queen b6 is checkmate. Of course, black could play another move, like queen here. But again, there is an amazing move. Queen a5 check. Queen check. If queen takes queen, pawn takes, the king is stuck. Pawn takes, too late, f6. King here, I push and we win. Do you know what a floating square is in chess? You need this when your king is fighting against two separated passed pawns. But what does it mean? Three simple conditions for you. You need two pawns at the corners of the square. Condition number two, the pawns must be on the same rank. Number three, the edge of the square must reach the edge of the board like here. When these three conditions are met, the white king cannot stop the pawn. And you play a4. The king tries to stop it, but now we push this pawn instead. And after the king takes the a pawn, this this one is unstoppable. But what happens if the box does not reach the edge of the board? Don't make the mistake to start pushing your pawn, because now the king can stop them. Just because the box only reaches the second rank and not the first one, let me show you. a5, king b5, they push this one now, and now the king is on time to stop him. Instead, the right move for black to save the game was king here, king c5, and you come back to not let the white pawns go forward. Can you believe this Grandmaster could not win this endgame with a piece up? Let me first show you how he messed up. Knight c5, thinking that attacking this pawn would help him win this game. But after king c4, taking this pawn is a big blunder. Because white now activate their king on b5. Knight comes back, king b6. And now you see what's happening? The king is stuck. The knight cannot move. Or the king Pac-Man this one. So what do you do with black when you messed up? King b5, again blocking these three squares. And if the knight moves, you simply push your pawn 
won't take. And it's a draw because king plus knight cannot checkmate a king. But wait, I said the GM messed up. He could have won this. Let me show you. King c7, king here, king b8, king c4, and now king a7, king b5, knight check, king c5, and king here attacking the pawn. And if he attacks our knight, we check. And if he wants our knight again, you know what? This time, give it to him. Take the pawn. And when he takes the knight, take the second pawn. This pawn now is unstoppable. 